uh, the Congress of high quality, I was very surprised because I was not expecting that a general Congress, which will be organized uh, from the university itself and just for the students and, and doctors in this area would have this kind of high level quality. I'm really positively surprised and, and I congratulate all the organizers for this uh, nice Congress. The universities have a long lasting uh, role in getting high quality medicine and health care in a country. So the role of the university is not ending after the student is graduating and getting a doctor. The university is uh, the home of the doctors. They must always come back uh, to learn new things and be in touch with the universities. And the university has this uh, really very important role organizing such congresses, which are of course costly, but uh, this is uh, one of the most important um, works which we doctors are getting uh, from our universities. Uh, a doctor which is um, stopping with training after having graduated or getting uh, the diploma of being a specialist, um, this is like stopping to be a physician. So it is very important to have a continue uh, in uh, training and education. And that's why the Congresses, especially organized from uh, highly well seen scientific uh, organizations or from the universities, uh, should be visited from time to time to renew the knowledge and to update. And that's why I think it is very important to have the Congresses and to continue uh, to update the knowledge. Interdisciplinary is getting more and more important. So we as surgeons cannot treat a patient just by ourselves. We need other persons like interventional radiology, we need oncologists, we need radiologists, we need cardiologists. Uh, for now, we have a lot of patients which have not only one disease, but they have many diseases. Also, this kind of diseases must be treated interdisciplinary. So this is making uh, the interdisciplinary uh, cooperation within the uh, different disciplines very important. And this Congress, with the main topic devoted to this kind of interdisciplinary treatment modalities, is an important task and I thank uh, the uh, organizers for choosing this topic to their main topic. Uh, for the moment of being in surgery, the minimal invasive surgery is one of the most important parts. In my practice, I'm doing around 80% of my surgeries in minimal invasive techniques. Um, I can give you an example. In former times, 80% of coronary stenosis have been operated, only 10 to 20 percent has been treated conservatively or interventional cardiologists have uh, put uh, some stents. And nowadays it is in the other way, 80 percent will be stented and 20 percent we have to operate. So the things are improving and that's why training and updating the knowledge are most important.